In this episode of the Globe Sports Corner, our sports crew had the chance to catch up with the record-breaking cross-country runner Nelson Kimboy, as well as his coach Rustin Nice, to discuss his newly acclaimed school record. And while the men's and women's soccer seasons have come to a close, our reporters find that there is still optimism to be had for the Maple Leafs as they head into the offseason. All that and more coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Welcome to the Globe Studios for another bi-monthly episode of the Globe Sports Corner. My name is Colin Eccles and I am thrilled to be your host for this sports report and for my first time on camera. Later on, we'll talk record-breaking cross-country times and sit down with Goshen College women's soccer head coach Justin Crew on the team's culture change over the past several seasons. To start off the show, we'll look at men's cross-country runner Nelson Kimboy. Kimboy, in only his second year at Goshen College, has already put his name in the history books. With more on the story, it's me, Colin Eccles. Nelson Kimboy has been a part of Goshen College's men's cross-country team for two years now and has become a big impact maker on the team. 2021 is a crucial year for the team as COVID-19 finally isn't the biggest concern of the season. Yeah, so the season was really tough. Like, we had to wear masks while we were meeting with our teammates and maybe we, are, we had to be really precautious and doing those old stuff. Like, it was really hard to train with the teammates, but yeah, we managed it. Having teammates around you for any athlete can mean the difference between a good and a bad performance. For Kimboy, having his teammates around is very important. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, training as a team is really good, so they help you to push you, you help them to push them, so, yeah, when I work hard and I see my friend, is like, yeah, it's like working hard too, that's the means of teamwork. Kimboy was set on leaving his mark on the team and has done so in a big way. He now holds a school cross-country record 24 minutes, 38.6 seconds. For him, it was a clear goal that he could get the school record. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, when I saw the school records, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get those school records. So, yeah, I was pretty sure I'll get them. So. Head cross-country coach Rustin Nice says that Nelson is more than just a top-tier athlete. He's also a top-tier leader. Uh -huh. Well, he has a great impact on the team. Like, he's, we call him the low stick because cross-country used to be measured in sticks, right? So you'd give the person who finished first, second, third a numbered stick. So he's our low one, and obviously for our results, that just that means quite a bit for him to be as competitive up front as he is. Um, and his leadership with it, he's, he's a quiet leader, but a really good leader. Um, gets guys to, to, to run along with him, and he's really motivational. Um, but he's also very smart, and so guys learn a lot from him just by talking to him about his training, but also about the way he approaches races and the way he prepares. He's, he's a really intelligent guy, so he's got a, I mean, a huge impact on the team in the tangible way of what you see in the results, but also the intangibles of the leadership that he brings to the team. He also says that Kimboy has found his spotlight a little earlier than everybody expected. I see him getting more and more comfortable being kind of that front runner for us. Um, I think he found the spotlight a little bit prematurely um, and didn't expect it as much, and now he's starting to become a little bit more comfortable in that role. And just as, as he becomes more familiar with Goshen and the city and the community and the college, he's becoming more and more comfortable and, and really excelling because I think he's more comfortable and he, and he accepts his role. Coaches train their athletes for one reason, to perform at their highest level. Nice's reaction to Kimboy breaking the record was just like anyone would expect from any coach. I'm proud of him. I, I'm proud of what all the all of them do, right? Uh, like you said, but I'm really proud of Nelson, and it it just shows the work that he's put in and the amount of investment that he's put in himself and in the team. And when he rises, the team rises as well. And so that that leadership that you mentioned with it, but I'm just proud of him. I'm proud for the team, and and you know, grateful to be their coach. It's it's a pretty humbling experience. So proud proud of everybody. Now the leadership role really comes into play for Kimboy. The team took part in the Crossroads League tournament this past Saturday and are awaiting results on whether or not they are headed to the national championships. His leadership is a big part of how that will play out. Reporting for Globe Sports, I'm Colin Eccles. A star in the making at Goshen College, and with two more years to go in his collegiate career, the sky is the limit for Nelson Kimboy. Following a short intermission, we'll have the head coach of Goshen College women's soccer team, Justin Crew, in the studios to recap the season and a culture change that has taken place over the past couple years. All that and more coming up next on the Globe Sports Corner. I work for the 
best college radio station in the nation. It's not New York City or Chicago. It's Goshen College. Our broadcasting program is just one of Goshen's 35 outstanding majors. At Goshen College, you will work one-on-one with top professionals and get studio time in your first semester. You can call a game from the playing field or broadcast from a downtown radio studio. How do I know Goshen was the best choice? Right after graduation, I'll start my new job as a radio morning show co-host. Take the next step in your broadcasting career. Back to the Globe Sports Corner. We are now joined by Goshen College's women's head soccer coach, Coach Justin Crew. Justin, we appreciate you taking time out of your day for us today. Uh, first off, how are you doing? Doing great. Yeah, glad to be here. Awesome. Coach, last year the team was hit heavily by COVID-19, which obviously is going to take a pretty big toll on a team. Talk about the struggles from last year and how you guys made adjustments. Yeah, um, COVID, was, COVID was rough, as we know, for everybody. Um, we had a limited roster with numbers um, just due to some some players that couldn't come back to campus and um, and then we were hit pretty hard as a team with with COVID itself so uh, it was a struggle um, the players um, and staff did great through that struggle um, but definitely being shut down after five games was was a hard thing hard for the program and this year COVID is not the center of athletics anymore how much easier has it made this year now that you guys don't have to worry about COVID-19 as much well, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's definitely a weight off your, off your shoulders a little bit. You can focus more on uh, soccer, um, you know, the games, the trainings, everything that's more involved around the sport itself and the team versus uh, COVID and health issues and, and things like that. So it's definitely made it a lot, a lot more enjoyable and a lot easier just because there's less, less of that to focus on. And this year marks the second time in three years that the team has made it to Crossroads League play. And before 2019, the last time that the team made it was in 2016. So what type of change has happened that's gotten the team to tournament play on a more regular basis? Um, You know, I think overall just a a culture of expectation. You know, I'm in my fourth season here, um, and I think it's just done a a good job of of just turning the expectation around. The expectation is, you know, it's expected now to make the conference tournament. We put that on ourselves. Uh, So... I, I think just that, that culture of expectation um, is a big reason why we've, we've had a little bit more success, more consistency. And last but certainly not least, now that the team has entered the offseason, what are going to be some of the focal points between now and next season to take the team to some even greater heights? Yeah, I think that word for me, it's that word uh, that I just said, consistency. You know, um, we are a very young program this year. Uh, we were starting somewhere between six and seven true freshmen, and sometimes we had all underclassmen on the field. So um, I think that's what uh, caused some of our up and down results. But for me, I was just talking to the team about this on Monday. Is the uh, word we're really focused on is consistency. You know, consistency for myself, consistency from the staff, and consistency from the players. Uh, Coach, once again, thank you so much for taking time out of your day, and we look forward to seeing uh, what the future holds for the team. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Coming up after the break, we'll take a look at a recap of this year's soccer season. All that and more on the Globe Sports Corner. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Up next on the Globe Sports Corner, with both the men's and women's soccer teams officially into the offseason, both teams believe that there is a bright future still to come next season. That along with the season recap is next, so let's join Alyssa McDonald for the story. As the season wraps up for both the men's and women's Goshen College soccer teams, the Globe Sports crew spoke with a few graduating seniors to get their perspective on how the season went. Uh, It didn't go as well as we planned. Uh, Fortunately, we didn't make it to conference, but I guess that's how it is. Uh, I think it went really well, um, all things considering. We're a very new team. Um, after last year, we had really small team. I think it was like something like eight players or something. So we recruited a ton. 
um, came in with a really great team. Uh, but with that, you still have to do work some to like get to know each other, get how know how each other plays, and then play together. So I think it took us a couple games to get our get us going and get working together. But I think we really did a great job, and I'm proud of how we did this year. Last season, with COVID-19 impacting the sports world, we asked the two, what was the biggest difference between this season and the 2020 season? I feel like this year we actually had a season like we played the amounts we were supposed to. And we also had a lot more players this year, which was good for us. The biggest difference by far is, actually there's two biggest differences, is the size of our team and then the amount of games we were able to play. Last year, I think we played five games, if that, because there were so many cancellations because of COVID. And we ended, ultimately, we ended our season early because of COVID, and we didn't have enough girls to fill the team. Um, so that was really unfortunate. But this year, uh, with the increase of recruits and then just less COVID, um, we, were play, we were able to play all the games we had scheduled. While the Maple Leafs fell in the conference opener 7-0 to to Spring Arbor, Vogelers still had a positive outlook on the season. You know, we, we battled. It was, a, it was a tough battle. We worked hard. Um, Spring Arbor is just a really great team. So, I mean, I'm proud of us, the way we kept our heads up. We fought till the end. Uh, we didn't give up. And so I'm glad that I got to go with my team and enjoy it and celebrate the season that we had. Reporting for Globe Sports, this is Alyssa McDonald. A hopeful future is what it would appear both soccer teams at Goshen College are striving for. Up next after the break, a preview of the upcoming Maple Leaf athletic schedule so you don't want to miss any of the action. We'll be right back on the Globe Sports Corner. I came to Goshen thinking that I'd just be acting, but over the course of my four years, I've taken part in all the other facets of the theater and I think that's helped me gain a wider appreciation for theater as a whole. I mean it takes all those things that I'm interested in, like design aspects of theater, the environmental studies course I took, and it takes my music major and it just focuses it all into theater. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. We now want to take a look at the upcoming Maple Leaf athletic events. This Friday, November 19th, the men's cross country team will compete in the NAIA National Championship. We want to wish the team the best of luck as they fight to bring some serious hardware back to campus. And this Saturday, November 20th, you can catch basketball doubleheader action right here in the Ruth Gundon Gymnasium on Goshen College's campus. The women's basketball team will open conference play at 1 versus University of St. Francis, followed by the men's team also taking on University of St. Francis at 3. That is your Maple Leaf athletic schedule for the remainder of the week. Good luck to all the teams in action, and go Leafs. That is going to wrap up this week's episode of the Globe Sports Corner. Make sure you don't miss a single beat at the Globe by following our social media at 911theglobe on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, head over to globeradio.org for more exclusive content. This has been the Globe Sports Corner. Until next time, I'm Colin Eccles, signing off.